everybody, happy Sunday. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you are having a really awesome Sunday. I've just got back. I've been running an errand. We actually had a good day today. We got Transport Evolve 10 filmed pretty early. I've still got to edit it, but it's still daylight. So that's a good thing, right? I've just got back with Artemis, my Chevrolet Bolt EV. And that's because Artemis has just helped me go and get this, which is a cubic yard of compost for the garden. So when I filmed, finished filming this, I'm gonna nip the trailer off here and put the trailer here with the soil in the back. And then tomorrow I'm gonna shovel this all over there behind me where our vegetable plot is because my wonderful, lovely chickens, that lot over there that you probably can't see, have dug up a lot of my vegetable plot, which is why you can also see the start of a fence there because I've got to fence it out so they don't dig up all my seedlings. I've got sprouts, I've got onions, and I've got plenty of other things that need to go in this weekend. It's gonna be a nice day, at least on one day this weekend. And as you know, I record this on a, on a Friday, so it might be chucking it down by the time you see this on Sunday morning. But that's not what I want to talk to you about today. I want to talk to you about your community and what is available in your community for you to use. Now, it could be a community garden project. I know last week on this channel, on this slot, I asked you if you were going to be gardening this year, if you were going to be growing your own crops, your own vegetables, your own flowers, whatever. Some of you said, yes, I garden every year and I have a lovely time and I really enjoy it. And that's fantastic. Others of you said, I haven't before, but I thought about giving it a go this year, either in a container or in a new garden that you happen to have access to. And some of you said, you know, gardening's not my thing. I'm just going to go to the store and buy some veg. And that's totally OK, too. But today I want to know about what things are available in your community, whether you live in a high rise tower block in some mega city uh, somewhere in the world or whether you live in a rural location like I do. What things exist? that are geared towards the cleaner, greener, safer and smarter way to live your life. Maybe you have a community broadband project that's run by somebody in your village who got tired of having dial-up speeds and worked with other people in the community to get together your own little private broadband group so everybody in your town or your village has access to decent quality internet speed. Maybe it is a community garden project where everybody gets a chance to have a piece of land if they want to, to grow in their own food. Maybe it is a community car share scheme, whether it's an electric car or a hybrid or just a regular internal combustion engine car, or it's a bicycle share scheme, or perhaps you have a local credit union that you've established in your community. The goal of which is to serve the community, not to make people lots of money, but just to help other people in that community live a more sustainable and equitable life. That word is really important. Equit equit equitable life is just as important as a sustainable life, even if I can't say equitable at whatever time it is on a Friday. 4.30. I've had a good day today. I've actually recorded 10 about an hour and a half ago. was able to run this errand because they closed at four and now I'm recording the thought of the day. So I'm feeling like it, I don't even feel tired yet. It's fantastic. There are some great projects around the world that I know about. Community solar projects. If you can't have solar on your home but maybe your local community has access to a large amount of land that they've got solar panels on so everybody gets green energy. Maybe it's a community wind turbine. Maybe you have a water wheel. I've, I've gone to places before where they have an old mill that used to be used during the Industrial Revolution to, you know, spin yarn and, and things like that. And the water well has been converted to an electrical water well and now it's generating power for the community. I think that's amazing. So I want to know about your community. You don't have to tell me where you live if you don't want to. I would understand. I haven't told you where I live, although I've dropped a couple of big hints recently in my videos, unintentionally, I might add. I was filming a video the other day and I went, oh, yeah, I kind of gave away where I live there and I'd, I'd rather not. So if you figured it out, please don't tell me because I'd rather keep that a secret. But if you would like to say, oh, my community has this, this and this, great. If you want to give a shout out to your town or your village, and you feel comfortable doing that, and you know that other people in your community will feel comfortable with you doing that, go ahead. Just, you know, 
don't make it uncomfortable for other people in terms of, diagno of, of um, disclosing even your location. I really cannot speak today. This is what happens when you don't give me a teleprompter. I stop reading the words and start reading what's in my head. It never ends well. So tell me about your community projects below. We have an exciting week coming up in the EV world. We've got a couple of reveal events, I think, that are going to be happening. The, the Toyota X something which is happening and then we're hearing about the Volkswagen battery day tomorrow on Monday which I have to get up at 5 a.m local time for me to watch if I'm going to watch it live I might just watch that on relay on replay even I hope that you understand rather than making me get up really early and watching it and then maybe falling asleep for the rest of the day we have now extended out our offer of employment to the two people who were successful uh, one has said yes, yes, absolutely yes. I think the other one has pretty much said the same. And we have to go through the contracts and sign those. But after that, it's really exciting and really good. I want to know also from you, I've been given an invite to go down to California in a couple of weeks to film with a couple of different uh, vehicles, including a fuel cell vehicle. And I know some of you don't like it when we cover fuel cell. He's at it again. It's like he has this magnet. My rooster knows when there's a camera and so he begins doing his, you know, natural things in the background. It's gonna become a thing for this video and I've never wanted it to. Sally, stop it. Also, get out of my strawberries. Chickens. Anyway, if you think I should go down and review that car, please let me know. I have kind of polled some of the uh, folks in the discord chat room and so far so good everyone thinks I should go and do it because although we do focus on electric hydrogen fuel cell is better than internal combustion engine so it's focus on the technology that points you in the direction you want to be going rather than waiting for perfection I think is sometimes the, the better course of action I will be back tomorrow with more great content for you all to enjoy thank you to the amazing folks scrolling by on my right without you it just wouldn't be possible. You know, we, we really are very grateful for all your amazing support and kindness. We have been able to grow this channel so much. And I say that very many times, but it's true. Without you guys, we wouldn't be where we are today. So thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you for evolving.